Welcome to the Reconnect Factor, the podcast of the Power Play Reconnect experience. Rest your mind, play little, and reconnect to your unique, authentic, and creative self. I'm your host, Ruth Haskins. Quote, we are addicted to our thoughts. We cannot change anything if we cannot change our thinking. Santosh Kalwar from the book, Quote Me Every Day. We humans believe that our greatest power lies in what we say and do. We are immersed in the belief that our accomplishments and possessions are the measure of who we are. The true reality is that much of our power lies in our thoughts, in our thinking. Someone created the maxim, thoughts become things. When we look at our world, we actually see the results. Everything begins with a thought. Now, on the positive side, we have learned to use our thoughts to build, engineer, design, create works of art and music. We have discovered inroads into the workings of nature, including human and animal anatomy and biology that have benefited billions of living beings. There are even moments in time when we have made huge discoveries that have cured diseases or made it possible to feed the masses of humanity. Of course, our thinking has also shown up in the opposite side, and our thoughts have led us to the brink of destruction through wars, destruction of the natural world, and social discord. So today I'm talking not about thoughts that lead to productive action, but our unguarded thoughts. When our mind wanders, and what we can do as individuals to train our thinking. Science says that the average person thinks at least 60,000 thoughts every day. So with the growth in technology, that number may have grown. But with each of us thinking our thoughts and thoughts turning into actions or things, what do we need to do about the quality of our thinking? That's the question. Do we recognize that many of our thoughts are not our own? Most of our thinking is influenced by the thinking of others, by association or by larger entities like the media in all its forms. If we ever stop to really examine our thoughts, we just get tangled up in more thoughts that are not our own. So bottom line, our thinking creates results that are either good or bad, and it is impossible for us to keep from thinking because we are thinking beings. However, we are responsible for our thoughts. We get to choose. And this is not an easy task. We have to safeguard our minds from influences that produce damaging thoughts. It means that we need to be careful of our associations, be it with people face-to-face, social media, the internet, entertainment, or the other thousands of distractions that this global society provides. It's kind of like a park bench. You sit down in a lovely park surrounded by the sights and sounds of nature. The sun is shining, the sky is beautiful blue, and puffy clouds are just gliding by. Birds are singing and the trees are blossoming. There's a fragrance of flowers blooming nearby. Then, out of nowhere, this thought sits down on the bench right beside you and gets real close to you. Now your mind is not on the beauty surrounding you, but very slowly your mind is focused on this annoying thought that's sitting right next to you. You try to chase it away, but the more you focus on the thought, it multiplies. Very soon, you find yourself immersed in a myriad of useless thoughts that can cause anxiety or lead you down a path of unproductive thinking. So here's my little trick. When I realize that my mind has wandered into unproductive thinking, I create a little comedy sketch. I politely acknowledge the thought or thoughts that sat down uninvited on my park bench. Then I gently nudge them off until they fall on the ground. They do jump back up and try to sit down again, but after a few hard falls, they leave. Then I can refocus my attention on the more important things, 
like enjoying the healing beauty of my surroundings. So the next time you find yourself enveloped in a host of thoughts that you really don't want, find a way that works for you to acknowledge and then let go of those thoughts. They will come back, but the habit of guarding your mind against unwanted thoughts will become a discipline that will add to your overall well-being and your serenity. More than just a thought, this is Ruth from the Reconnect Factor, the podcast of the Power Play Reconnect Experience. Thank you for listening.